Hey everybody, Brian here. And first of all, I want to do this as sort of a reply to uh, a video I did yesterday, which was a response uh, to Doug, Doug Walker's Nostalgia Critics' uh, review of the Pound Puppies movie. Now, somebody online, somebody at the site, kind of mentioned that I forgot to talk about a f few things that were changed up in the Super Mario Brothers movie. Because what I was trying to say, what I was trying to say about the Pound Puppies movie when I compared it to that movie and a few others, was, you know, first of all, when it came to Super Mario Bros. movie, yes, I forgot to mention that Princess Daisy wasn't the only change they made. Yes, they made the character Koopa more humoristic. Basically, they changed the entire background and everything on um, how, you know, the... King, the Mushroom Kingdom, if you will, came to be. So, you know, basically they changed everything. Yeah, they kept a few elements in there from time to time, but they changed everything. But, but, um, you know, here's, a, here's the situation. The reason I, I said that, the reason I said that in a way, the reason I was trying to compare the Pound Puppy movie to that was because they did the exact same thing. I mean, it's like Doug said in his, at the top of his review. They switched everything up. They kept most of the characters, but they also brought in some new characters. What I was trying to say, though, is when they switched everything up like Doug's did, Doug did, like Doug said, uh, basically what they did, like I said, to kind of make it more believable, if you will, not realistic, I should have said believable, that was my fault. But what they did to make it more believable is instead of having a, like an 11, 10 year old kid being in charge of the barn, if you will, well not barn, but in charge of the pound, instead they have teenagers, probably 15, probably about 16 to 17 to 18 years old, you know, uh, watching over the pound, which would be more believable. Oh, and, um, you know, th th that's what I was trying to talk about. And, you know, usually with movies, like I said, you know, you could keep the same villain in there if you want to. And, you know, just go from there. But instead, if you're going to do a movie, you always have to have a new villain. Uh, I'll give you an example. Another example is DuckTales the movie. You know, they got so many villains they could have used from the series as the main villain in the, show, in the movie. But they didn't do that. Instead, they chose somebody different. And they gave sort of a backstory on who this character was and what this, why this character was after the main characters or after what he was seeking. That's why... Again, I believe uh, when TriStar and Coleco and Family Home Entertainment and Wang Films and all those people, when they worked on the movie back in the 80s, of, you know, Pound Puppies, they knew that, okay, we got to keep the original characters. Fan they knew that, okay, you know, uh, that fans were going to expect the original characters to be in there, or the original Pound Puppy characters at least, but... But they also knew, they also knew that with any movie, you got to introduce new characters. I mean, just like with Transformers, just like with G.I. Joe, they introduced newer characters for the toy line. The same could be said for Pound Puppies. They introduced Beamer, they introduced uh, Reflex um, in, into the movie, I believe. I think those were two of the newer ones. As well as the Pound Purries. Uh, Hairball and Charlemagne. They introduced them because of they, they were part of the toy line. That's why they brought them in. And second of all, and second of all, you have to have, a, I guess in a way, they have to have a villain and an origin as to, like I said, as to how this puppy power came to be, but you also have to have a reasoning as to why this puppy power is so uh, precious, why it's so important 
to animals, dogs, cats, and humans. You gotta have a reason. And you know, the television series never gave us a reason as to how this happened, how this occurred. Heck, the villainess in the television series never even cared about puppy power. All she cared about was capturing the puppies and taking over the pound. We needed basically what they said, basically what these people did when they made the movie is they needed to have a villain that cared, that basically had his mind focused not on taking over the pound, but had his mind focused on taking over the world. Basically, they needed a reason as to what... I know it sounds crazy, but basically they needed somebody that was going to, you know, be focused on gaining that power for himself, gaining that power of puppy power for himself. So, yeah, that... That's basically what it is. And yes, again, like I said, I made some mistakes. I made some mistakes. I will admit that. But what I was trying to do, ooh, and you gotta apologize. I gotta apologize for yesterday because I was still a little tired and all that. I wasn't thinking straight. I mean, I was thinking straight. I just wasn't, you know, thinking of what I was saying at first. But what I'm, what, what I was trying to say overall is the reason for everything that happened in there in that movie compared to what the television show showed you and all that is because it had to be more believable not realistic but more believable I mean let me ask you this what would you find more believable uh, 18 year olds watching the pound or 11 year old watching the pound what would you find more believable huh that, that's one of the reasons that sticks out in my mind and also, what would interest you more? Seeing the same old story week at, it seems, seeing the same old story that you've seen week at, Saturday after Saturday on the big screen? Or would you like to see something more different, something more interesting, something that's going to, even though it's not, doesn't have the best animation, but it's a story that it will at least keep you intrigued, or at least keep your kids intrigued. What, what would you prefer more? See, that's what I'm saying. So, anyway, that's just my response to um, my video and that I put here on YouTube and on thatguywiththeglasses.com, on the Pound Puppies and Legend of Big Paw uh, section of the episode talk. And, again, you know, my apologies. I did leave a few things out. I should have mentioned a few other things when I made those comparisons. But, again, that's my fault. I take responsibility for that. And uh, I thank you all for watching. You got any comments from down below. I'll talk to you all later.